Just the other day, two SHS students named John Brown and Faye Walpard were instructed to have their presentation ready on the second day of the immersion at Privyet Company. They saw Ms. Byers, the secretary of Mrs. Harrington, which is a manager of the marketing department. Good morning! Are you ready for your presentation? Ms. Harrington is waiting at the conference room. This way, please. The students went to the conference room and started their presentation. Good morning, everyone. Our presentation for today is all about the examples of the forms of business organization here in the Philippines. So without further ado, let's start with the first one, which will be discussed by Ms. Wop Hart. The first form of business organization is sole proprietorship. Here are some examples. The first one is the GRJ Trading, where it is engaged in retailer of used Japan surplus parts located in 3 and 4 CB Francisco Avenue, Barangay San Isidro, Angono, Rizal, Philippines, owned by Mr. Percival Dimaano Alfonso. Lexmark was established on May 1, 2007, and it was located at Joss Print Center, Elepano Street, Calamba City, Laguna, Philippines. It provides a quality printing in its customers in an affordable and competitive price and to serve better regarding deliveries as soon as possible, based on agreed duration of time. 21st Century Water Resources is located at ML Quezon National Highway, Pajo, Lapu-Lapu City, Cebu. Started in 2008, that supplies purified drinking water to walk-in customers, dealers, and corporate establishments. It has been regularly tested by Cebu's Independent Water Testing Laboratory and the OH-accredited Cebu Agualat INC. Establish a solid base of satisfied and loyal clients through hard work, honesty, and consistency in distributing quality drinking water. This business is legally has no separate existence from its owner. Income and losses are taxed on the individual's personal income tax return. The sole proprietorship is the simplest business form under which one can operate a business, wherein it is not a legal entity. The second form of business organization will be presented by Mr. Brown. The second form of business organization is called partnership. Here are some examples. The first one is WNS, where it is leading global business process outsourcing company with more than 26,000 employees worldwide. Deep industry and business process knowledge, a partnership approach, comprehensive service offerings, and a proven track record enables them to deliver business value to the world's leading companies. JNS Lucky Inco is a partnership business that is located at No. 7 Magna Street, Seminary Road, Bagbag, Novaliches, Quezon City. This newly established business aims to offer entire printer consumable needs, provides a quality and reasonably priced toner and other consumables that could be alternative choice from highly cost brand new toners through toner compatible and refill. Assures the clients that they can provide excellent products and services since we are equipped with test instruments, tools and trained personnel. They always emphasize to its objective of providing quality and cost-effective compatible toners and other printer consumables. TJ Wellness Wealth is now a growing network of partners in life and business, venturing initially into the advertising business that runs for several years now. These pioneers rediscovered a lifetime fondness for things spiritual, but now complemented with a practical, natural and affordable approach to health and fitness maintenance. This business organization is not just about the business making money or the business of remaining healthy. It is about having life and having more of it. These are business organizations in which two or more individuals pull money, skills, and other resources and share profit and loss in accordance with terms of partnership agreement. In absence of such agreement, a partnership is assumed to exist where the participants in an enterprise agree to share the associated risk and rewards proportionately. The third form of business organization will be discussed by Ms. Wolf Hard. The third form of business organization is named as corporation. Here are some examples. The first one is the San Miguel Corporation, which is a Filipino multinational publicly listed conglomerate holding company. 
It is the largest publicly listed food, beverage, and packaging company in Southeast Asia, as well as the Philippines' largest corporation in terms of revenue. With over 17,000 employees in over 100 major facilities throughout this Asia Pacific region. Petron Corporation is the largest oil refining and marketing company in the Philippines, supplying more than a third of the country's oil requirements. It operates a refinery in Limay, Bataan, with a rated capacity of 180,000 barrels per day. From the refinery, Petron moves their products mainly by sea to 32 depots and terminals in the country. They operate a lube oil blending plant at their Pandakan Terminal, where it manufactures lubes and greases. Universal Rubina Corporation was founded in 1954 when Mr. John Gokong Kuei Jr. established Universal Corn Products INC, a cornstarch manufacturing plant in Pasig. The company is involved in a range of food-related businesses, including the manufacture and distribution of branded consumer foods, production of hogs and day-old pallets, manufacturing of animal feeds and veterinary products, flour milling, and sugar milling and refining. QRC operates its food business through operating divisions and wholly owned or majority owned subsidiaries that are organized into three core business segments, namely branded consumer foods, agro industrial products, and commodity food products. Exa Corporation is the fastest growing premium pest management service companies in the country. Fully operating only in 2010, PIXA is active not only in Metro Manila and Serb Orbs, but also in the key growth cities of Visayas and Mindanao. These business organizations are legal entity that is separate and distinct from its owners. Corporations enjoy most of the rights and responsibilities that an individual possesses. That is, a corporation has the right to enter into contracts, loan and borrow money, sue and be sued, hire employees, own assets, and pay taxes. The last form of business organization will be presented by Mr. Brown. The fourth form of business organization is cooperatives. Here are some examples. The first one is the Excellent People's Multipurpose Cooperative, where it was organized and registered at Cooperative Development Authority, primarily to engage in savings and loan activities among members and to provide manpower management and supply services to clients. The primary source of the cooperative's income comes from the contribution of its member, interest from loans to member and services fee to clients. Lighthouse Cooperative is an associational cooperative established in Tugaygarao City, Cagayan, Philippines. It is committed to promote genuine Christian values in the business community, develop entrepreneurial leadership among members, provide premium products and services, and live a culture of solidarity with social responsibility. A church-based association delivering excellent services and quality products, developing entrepreneurship among its members. Tagum Cooperative is a saving of credit cooperative which is in the industry of the finance and insurance where it is one of the largest cooperatives in Mindanao as it classified by the Cooperative Development Authority of the Philippines as a large cooperative. It is composed of over 117,000 members as of June 2015, coming from Tagum City, Dabo del Norte, and towns and cities throughout Region 11 and Caraga Region. This business organization are owned and controlled by the people who use its products, supplies, and services. Although cooperatives vary in type and membership size, all were formed to meet the specific objective of members and are structured to adapt the members' changing needs. That's it! I hope that the information were disseminated properly and help you in some ways. Thank you for listening! Not bad, Mr. Brown and Miss Wolfhard. You did a good job of presenting your report, even though I gave you a short amount of time for the preparation. Do you know why I did that? It's because that this is my test on how you cope up with the things that may pop out of nowhere, on how you handle them, and in the near future when you have a job at a certain company or any business organization you chose to work for. 
This will really help you as an employee for your own growth, of course, and for the organization itself. Faye and John's presentation ended well, and they continued their journey in this company as the days passed by.